No sooner had I arrived in Kenya than I jumped on a plane to Lodwa, a small town in the north of the country. But this was not the final destination. I was headed for a village called Lorenzlup in the Turkana Desert, 80 kilometers southeast of Lodwa. The Kenya-China Trade and Economic Association, along with local Chinese communities, had organized a food relief program to this village. As access to this place was difficult, and government food aid had not been able to reach them, I was on my way to investigate and see for myself how the people were coping with the severe drought that had thrown the area into crisis. I arrived in the village one day in advance of the relief effort that was set to take place. I found the villagers gathered under a big oak tree, building a shelter for the coming officials. They told me they had been expecting the visit for nearly two weeks. Women started singing folk songs and dancing to show their happiness and appreciation as the staff began to discuss where to unload the food. After much debate, they finally chose to deliver the relief directly to the village households, not the original planned square under the big tree. The next morning. Twelve trucks with six hundred and fifty tons of maize flour and five tons of beans arrived in Loanjlup at nine o'clock a.m. After two whole days' journey from Nakuru, after a brief ceremony in which Chinese representatives and the local leader addressed nearly five thousand people, the food was ready to be distributed. April Eloto said, "He and all his family members left home in the early hours to start a three-hour walk to the village." We'd never expected one day some Chinese would give us food until we really saw it this morning," he said. Eloto's sister died from hunger last year, but he said his family would never leave this land as it was his ancestors had chosen it specifically for his family. The district commissioner Nakitari Humphrey from the local government of Lodwa claimed there was a regular food distribution program to remote villages. But Nabenu, a mother of ten children, refuted him, saying the government people come to distribute food irregularly, and they only come to the village every two months or even longer. When asked what should they do when the government stops running the food distribution program, Elato and Nabenu felt silent, then reluctantly saying the only choice for them was to die. The food given to this community will sustain their life for more than three months, and after that, they have to rely on the government program. The first cargo of Chinese aid arrived in Mombasa on September 28th, and has been transferred to the Kenyan government on October 5th. They will decide where the food go. Eloto and Nabenu are very much hoping some of the food will come to Lorenzlup.